Hey guys, welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host Matt, and today we're looking at ASRock's new fanless mini PC, the B-Box. A few months ago, Intel launched their latest Braswell system on chip range, though we'll forgive you for not noticing. It was a pretty quiet launch and there were no production units on the shelves until months after all the details were released. Replacing the current Bay Trail D lineup of three Celeron and one Pentium SoCs, all featuring new 14 nanometer Airmont cores. About a month ago, Aswat released a range of mini ITX motherboards using these new Braswell system on chips and they look pretty good. However, the product we have on hand today is even better. Azrock call it the B-Box, and as they're quick to point out, it's a PC. So, not a box to keep your bees in, though don't despair, it's actually a pretty cool little PC. So far, there are two versions of the B-Box. One using the Celeron N3150 quad core, and then the one we have, which is based on the Celeron N3000, a 2.08 gigahertz dual core processor. There's three configurations to choose from. The cheapest of which is a $140 bare bone that lets you install your own MSATA SSD and laptop DDR3 memory, and this is the option we went for. For $220, ASRock is offering a complete version of the B-Box N3000 that includes a 128GB SSD and 4GB of DDR3 memory, which seems like a pretty fair deal. Although, keep in mind you still need to bring your own operating system. Like an Intel NUC, it's extremely small with a capacity of just 0.6 litres and yet ASRock has crammed some pretty nice hardware inside. The B-Box comes in white, black or gold and as you can see, we picked up the gold version for this video because what sort of YouTube Sultan wouldn't want a tiny gold PC, right? But seriously, we probably suggest picking up the white or black version for your living room. Moving on, at the front of the B-Box there are two USB 3 ports and one of them is a Type-C port. This makes the B-Box the first mini PC to feature Type-C USB which apparently doubles the charge speed of devices such as smartphones. Along with the USB 3 ports, there's an audio out jack that also accepts mic in which is a very handy feature indeed. Finally, there's a small infrared receiver used to communicate with a supplied remote. On top of the B-Box is a small power button that's gently backlit by a blue LED. Around the back we have a 12 volt 3 amp DC input, two HDMI outputs, display port output, two USB 3 ports, a single gigabit LAN port and a Kensington lock. This provides the B-Box with considerably better connectivity than other mini PCs we've seen. Underneath the B-Box there's four rubberized feet and quite a lot of ventilation. To get inside to make any upgrades or install any hardware, you'll just have to undo these four screws. Taking the B-Box apart reveals a truly small PC. On the back side of the PCB, we find a small yet rather large heatsink for a mini PC that transfers heat from the processor to the chassis. Back on the top side of the PCB, we find an MSATA Low, Mini PCIe slot and two SO DIMM slots. It's also worth mentioning at this point that users can install a 2.5 inch drive into the B-Box as well, which is very surprising. This means you can install a 2TB drive, which is very handy for users that want to use it as a home theatre PC and store a lot of movies, TV shows or anything like that. Obviously an SOC boasting a mere 4 watt TDP rating isn't going to set any performance records, so we didn't think it was worth throwing a whole bunch of benchmarks at it, because we didn't really think it would reflect the unit's true usability. So instead, we're going to show you how it performs in the real world with some general usage applications. ASRock says the B-Box works so well when compared to other mini PCs due to its ability to use dual channel memory, where all other manufacturers are currently limited to single channel operation. It's worth noting that although we tested with 16GB of RAM, 4GB will probably be fine too since the B-Box is really a single tasking device. Before we begin, keep in mind that we're using screen capture software running on the B-Box to record this video to show you general usage and that comes at a cost of around 10 to 20% CPU utilization. So the performance we're about to show you is slightly slower than normal. As you can see, Word 2013 opens quite quickly thanks to the SSD, though you'll notice the CPU utilization jumps up to 100%. Despite the heavy CPU utilization, Word is ready to go the second the application pops up and we can scroll through the documents smoothly. After playing around with Word, we tried a few PDF documents. They all open quickly and allowed instant browsing of the document. Scrolling through the PDF was smooth for the most part and can be done quite quickly, 
that we found that running into a bunch of embedded images would sometimes cause a bit of lag. Again, note for the most part, the CPU utilization was locked at 100%. Next, we tried a 1080p video, our Fury X review. Playback was perfectly smooth when we weren't recording, but as you can see, even though we are recording the screen, playback was still smooth with 29 frames per second. Azrox supplied the 4K B-Box advertising trailer to try out. And we have to say, playback didn't go well. The video would only play back at a few frames per second, so we don't see how 4K video playback is really possible. Finally, we tested some web browsing. When compared to a more powerful Core i3 desktop, for example, the B-Box is noticeably laggy. Still, non-power users, which is another way of saying patient users, shouldn't have any problems. Again, keep in mind we're recording this footage using the B-Box, which makes it appear a bit slower than it really is. To recap, the B-Box is a 0.6 litre mini PC that didn't consume more than nine watts during our testing. This incredibly low power usage allowed ASRock to create a completely fanless, tiny little PC. Honestly, I don't think ASRock should be advertising this model in particular as a 4K player. Users that bought it for that purpose are gonna be on quite the end of a bee sting because it just can't do it. First of all, we can only get 4K to display at 30 hertz, which is extremely laggy, even just moving the mouse around on the desktop. And secondly, the B-Box is only just capable of playing back 1080p content, so we're really not sure how they got 4K to work. The barebone spec is great value at $140, and we really appreciated being able to install an MSATA SSD, as well as a two and a half inch hard drive. There's a lot to like about the B-Box, from the excellent connectivity to the unbeatable price, so we expect this mini PC to do pretty well for ASRock. It'll also be interesting to see how much faster the Celeron N3150 quad-core enabled B-Box is. We assume ASRock were referring to this model when talking about the 4K playback, despite the fact that they specifically mention it on the N3000 webpage and the box. Overall, if you're looking for a low-powered, quiet PC that you can do emails, word processing, web browsing, as well as playback 1080p content, then the B-Box N3000 will fit the bill. Thanks for watching this mini review. I hope to see you on the next one. This has been Matt for Hardware Unboxed. Please let me know what you think of the B-Box in the comments. Yeah.